<laughs> Did it just land on the other side of the ice? Oh, what is up, exploring crew? It is a very good morning. I did not feel like going to the gym this morning, but I got myself up, I went to the gym. I feel like I went the hardest I've ever gone at the gym. I was there for three hours, I did an hour of cardio, chest, biceps, everything. I was going ham in the gym today, and this is like with no sleep at all, and uh, I don't know, I just feel really good today. Uh, I had to get up because we got stuff to do today. Yesterday, <laughs> Steve and I, we went to Toys R Us and we got this. I think I'm gonna get this drone right here and test it out. It's got this headset, supposedly. I'm doing like VR as I'm flying this thing and I can see what it sees. Hopefully I don't crash it. That's right, we got a Sky Viper. This thing is supposedly ranked number one RC drone right now. Whatever that means. Uh, <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna test this thing out. It's got goggles, <laughs> I can say that. I don't know what else it has, but it has a camera and goggles so you can see what you're actually doing, which I always thought was really cool. They used to have that in the very old DJI drones, but they don't have it so much anymore, I don't think. I don't know if this is like DJI or it's charger. I think it might be actually battery powered, not, I don't know if it's charging. Like if you charge it or if you just have to buy Double A batteries for this thing. Wait, this thing is so much smaller than I thought. Look at this thing. On the box, I thought it was like huge. Wow, okay. Look at this thing. Jeez. All right, all right. The best drone in the world under $100. So I'm guessing you put your phone in here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, perfect. So you put your smartphone in, in this thing, and then, boom. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how to charge this thing, and I'll be back in a minute. I can't remember the last time I actually had to put batteries into something like this. So, I had to go find triple A batteries, which are even harder to find than double A batteries. It takes this little lithium ion battery. So we just gotta take that and boom. I might test it to make sure it works before we leave. <laughs> Let's see. Oh! No! no. no. Oh, 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 shit! Yeah. Down, down, down! <laughs> Oh my god. Holy shit. It's okay. not broken, right? No. It landed. We're good. <laughs> Alright. Alright, it works. Let's get to the skies. Coming back to the same forest we were at a couple days ago, the, the snow is completely gone. I mean, there was feet and feet of snow. We were up to our knees just the other day, and the rain came and just melted it all away. And now it's a perfect spot to do a drone review. Steve. Look what you did, Steve! Listen! That was pretty cool. Dude! I see it right there. <laughs> you well, literally cracked the whole pond. I got my controller, got my goggles. Let's see how this thing works. It's not very intuitive. Okay, wait, I gotta start ro recording in the phone. Uh, Can't stand still? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did it just land on the other side of the ice? Can you fly it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you gotta walk closer to it. Maybe you can only go that far. But there's the odds you get it. <laughs> <laughs> right? In my goggles it says connection lost from Viper. Oh! Oh! Bring it back! <gasps> oh! Come on, baby! Come on! Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. oh. No. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! Come on! 
No, no, you attack me. Come home. Oh, careful. Wait, don't touch it, don't touch it. Okay, pick it up, pick it up. What the? Well, that's the comparison. <laughs> Alright, guys. What, the we are now gonna compare it to the Mavic. Oh, wait, wait, watch this, watch this. Ready? Whoa! Oh. Okay. That's pretty cool. I don't think the Phantom 4 can do that, bro. I don't <laughs> think so. Check this out, check this out. Whoa. A barrel roll! So I think that's pretty much all the stone can do is this cool stun. It's what it's made for. Whoa! <laughs> that was like a diagonal. Okay, it's kind of cool. Yeah. It's kind of cool for tricks. It won't go too far. Ready? Auto land. <laughs> <laughs> no, the auto land is amazing. <laughs> just suicide just, bombs. Just, <laughs> okay. Steve, can you record? It was recording. Uh, has a controller too. Is it durable? <laughs> I literally went to take the phone out of the thing and it snaps. How is this the best RC drone camera in America? Because it can do flips. <laughs> I can't get my phone out and I broke my headset. You got a new phone case. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sky Viper. So now we got Steve flying his drone. Just to compare the size real quick. Uh, Steve, can you hold up your drone? So, this, these are the two different drones. The Mavic and the Sky Viper. They're actually, okay, well, the Mavic is a little bit bigger. So if size is a problem for you, uh, this thing is compact. The only thing is it doesn't fold up like the Mavic does. <laughs> but this is an option for under 100 bucks. seems to have a lot more control of his drone than I did, but I don't think he can do flips. Or can you? <laughs> I can try. He can try. Obviously we still have to see the footage from these two. I'm gonna take them home now and look at the footage, but uh, I mean, I didn't see this thing doing any tricks, but this thing also has a lot of camera, so it's like, which one's gonna win? I don't know until we get home. Okay guys, so I'm back at the house now and I'm looking at the footage and there's quite the difference. I mean, obviously we're comparing a $100 drone versus a $1,000 drone, uh, but I figured out that the camera was fixed, it doesn't move, so it's always kind of pointing downwards and you don't really see anything because it can't fly up very high. So I mean, I think that was their initial thought was if we make it a fixed camera and it flies up high, you can kind of see things but it doesn't fly very high, so it's always kind of looking at the ground, which you'll see in the footage. And that's what I wanted to test was the camera and the maneuverability and the control, like how it hovers when it's in the air. I'll tell you, this thing was very hard to control. After about 15 meters, it kind of disconnected. I had to, I had to restart it and then fly it back to me a couple times. Uh, it didn't stay put in the air very much but it does do tricks. So, I mean, <laughs> for what it's worth, it does do tricks. Look at the footage here. Now obviously I am comparing this $100 drone versus 10 times the price of a DJI drone and uh, you know, it's it's quite the difference. It's quite the difference what an extra $900 will do for a drone. But I just wanted to do this little test video to see what the difference really was and now I definitely know. So if you're in the market for a toy drone and you want to maybe fly a little drone around where you're not too into the video aspect of it, 
maybe the Sky Viper is for you. But if you definitely want to shoot good video and have it uh, be able to be controlled, uh, check out any DJI drone pretty much. But that is it for the video today, guys. If you want to see more comparisons, more of a real comparison, something uh, like an act two DJI drones or a GoPro drone, whatever, or another camera, let me know down in the comments below. If you liked it, give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. But that is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow.